In this video, I'm going to show you how to find and remove CAD imports from your Revit projects. Hi everyone, I'm back to you with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, as you may know, best practice is to link your CAD files instead of import them. Now, let's look at some of the differences between the two options. And of course, you can skip to the solution, which is remove the imports. But I will also give you some options to find more information about these imports. Let me show you. Now for this exercise, I set up a new Revit file with uh, two levels and one import and one link per level. Now first, let's look at the commands. Under insert, we have link CAD and import CAD. You should almost never use import CAD and only use it if you know what you're doing. For 99% of the cases, you would want to use link CAD. Now the main difference between import and link is the way the files are stored. Now consider that when you link a cat file, that cat file is stored externally in a folder and you'll always need that file in that location because it's linked in Revit. Whereas with the import, the file is embedded into the Revit file and you don't need that file externally, which sounds useful, but it's actually better to have a file that's flexible and easy to update, like in the case of the link, as opposed to having a file that's embedded and it's hard to update. Now, another difference is the fact that links allow you to check and adjust the location when you georeference your project, whereas imports don't let you do that. And that's another way that you can distinguish the two. Now, another way to tell an import from a link is the fact that imports let you explode the cat file, which should always be avoided. I'll have a video uh, coming up and links don't have that option available. Now, how do you actually manage these uh, imports and links? Well, let's take a look at the visibility and graphics first. And under imported categories, you'll see that you have these two files under level one. So you see both imports and links, and it's hard to tell which one is what. Now, if you head over to manage links, you'll see that the under cat formats, you're only showing the links, which is which basically means that uh, all the other files are imports. Now, of course, best practice is to always work with links. And if you have imports, you can uh, go ahead and remove them and replace them with links. Now, let's go ahead and uh, try to remove these imports. If you head over to add-ins, purger, you can go ahead and uncheck all these other items that are not needed in this case. And you can uh, focus on CAD files and Let's analyze the situation and you see that we have a total of four cat files and the ones that are imported are marked with uh, with this uh, green circle and I would go ahead and uh, lock these two which are the ones that are not imported so I'm going to lock that one those two so we know that we keep these ones and we remove those ones and you can go ahead and uh, hit purge and as you can see now, we kept the links and we got rid of the imports. Now using the plugin is the easy solution here, but it doesn't give you much information or control over these imports and the plugin may not be available in the future. That's why I uh, went ahead and wrote this uh, Dynamo script that I'll link in the description and I've included it in my Dynamo player options and it's called find links, imports and full report. If you click on the inputs, you actually have the outputs uh, ready for you. So when you hit the play button, you see both an ID and location of those imports and just the imports. And then after that, you actually get a full report so you get more information about both links and imports now the quick action here is to say okay these are all my imports so I can focus on removing these at the same time though if I need more information I can scroll down and take a look at all the other links or imports for example you get information about the actual file name the whether it's loaded or not or uh, again the location the work set and the path within the folder if applicable. Now to give you an idea of how the script works, I'm going to go back here and open it in Dynamo. And I'll just leave it on the screen for a few seconds so you can take a quick look. 
but again, I'll put a link in the description. Now at this point, we know which are the imports and where they're located if they're view specific. And uh, we can uh, go ahead and um, use the other script that I created and it's called delete imports. And it works the same way, except instead of just finding, it, just, it also deletes the import. So we can go ahead and uh, hit the play button. And as you can see, it deleted just the imports and it left the links. And you still get a list of the imports that have been removed. And this is the ID of the actual import. Now question for you, what other methods do you have to remove these imports? And also let me know if you had bad experience with uh, CAD imports. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.